1.5 years of learning and i can tell you after 1.5 years of learning i didn't crack gate mechanical i only got 17000 rank but after understanding how the gate exam works and making a ton of mistakes i finally secured 1300 rank and i can genuinely tell that this rank was decided from my last 3 months of preparation and in this video i'm going to tell you how you can also crack it in just 3 or 4 months in this video i'm going to give you the complete road map from which you can go from the zero position where you are at right now and in the end of the video you will understand what are the things you must do what are the subjects you must choose what are the mindset you must have everything you will be very clear and if you do that then you will be getting the maximum possible marks that you can attain in just 3 months so there is not going to be that much flashy edit it's going to be a pure video about how you can crack the gate in just 3 months so before doing all the analysis and before choosing the subjects before all the other analysis coming forward we must do one thing and this is very important the first thing is that to choose your mindset choosing your mindset is very important because there are tons of people entering the gate exam with different kinds of mindset and generally speaking there are only four types of mindset entering the gate exam first guy is the time bus guy second guy is the qualifier guy third guy is the average guy and fourth guy is the topper guy i'll explain this for one by one coming to the first guy he is the time bus guy because he knows he's not going to qualify the examination he's treating the gate exam or any exam as a simple exam it may be cat it may be gate he don't care because he have paid 2000 rupees he just want to write that examination and look what the questions are and just to try it out so you don't want to be that guy and then comes the next three types of people and these three are slightly important comparing to the time bus guy so first one is the qualifier mindset qualifier mindset guy is the one who wants to qualify like and these types of people what they'll do is that they'll study some max study some general aptitude they'll go through some topics they have completed in their college syllabus and they'll try to qualify but these are the people who end up not qualifying these are the people who will end up not qualifying because they haven't done their preparation really well they have just tried their best but they couldn't get it most of the people don't qualify but there are one or two people who have who are also qualifying just in based on two three months of preparation and then comes the average type and then comes the topper type these are the two types they are may we are mainly seeing in our gate exam the average people are the ones who are getting a decent score and these people are the ones who have prepared for one or six months or one year and they need to get nice marks but they know that they are not going to get that all in the rank one or all in the rank 10 they need around the thousand rank these people need around thousand rank they need to get into good iits or minimum nits these are the people who are who have put in their work who have prepared these average guys these are the guys who are end up qualifying after after the gate exam after the results are published these are the guys who are end up qualifying because they have aimed for about 70 60 marks and they'll be end up getting 40 45 marks and in the last comes out topper mindset topper mindset is the people who really needs the gate like they have aimed for under 100 rank they need 100 rank they need to get 80 plus marks they will be studying for 100 marks they will be not uh, neglecting any topics they will be not neglecting any syllabus they will be completing the 100 percent syllabus they will be doing the practice they will be doing the mock test they will be doing the revision and they'll be doing it again so these are the people who are really in the competition these are the people who are going to get into under thousand rank thousand rank because it is a very tough region because comparing the six likes people who have applied for gate getting into six thousand rank it is a uh, little bit important so i i think i have explained the four types of mindset now let's see which are the mindset which is the mindset that you must pick now because you don't want to be the time bias guy and you cannot be the topper guy because to be the topper guy minimum six months is required if you go all in so you cannot get into around 1000 or 150 or 1000 rank in three months that's the truth but you can get into around 1000 2000 rank if you put your best and if you play your cards wisely so we have only two options left one is the qualifier guy and second is the average guy which guy you, you want to pick generally people pick the qualifier guy why before qualifier guy you can select the subjects and you can just study that and you can come fail but what happens is that qualifier people only aim for 30 40 marks and they'll end up not qualifying so you don't want to be that guy also you want to be the average guy now is the time to pick that and you and you mentally tell yourself that you are the average guy you need 60 or 70 marks you're aiming for that much marks right you want to be the average guy because you know if you tried your best to be the average guy you will end up minimum qualifying and i'll tell you the range of rank that you can get if you're an average guy the maximum rank you can get is thousand rank the minimum rank you can get is ten thousand rank and in between this thousand and ten thousand you will be getting into iits or nits for sure if you are in thousand to two thousand rank or luckily you're 900 rank and all you'll be getting into iits minimum if you qualify or if you have an around nine thousand or eight thousand rank you'll be getting into nits so this is the minimum and this is the maximum so you want this this is the best output that you can get in three months so 
pick the average guy if you have taken your step if you have set your mindset to be the average guy in this three months then your first check mark is done now let's go to the number two which is the most important now let's go to the real stuff this is by choosing your subjects wisely that's right the second point is choosing your subjects wisely what do you mean by choosing your subjects right so what are we going to do in this step the, this is the very crucial step because this decides the time that you get this decide the marks you can get so this is very important to choose and to do the decision right now choosing your subjects wisely is very important because in gate exam you're going to get three hours for 100 marks and if you remove your 40 or 30 marks which you don't want to study i don't want these subjects i'm not going to study these subjects then you get three hours for 70 or 50 marks or three hours for 60 marks this is the very difference because by getting one question two two minutes or three minutes you'll be getting four or five minutes for one question this is going to be a very big advantage if you focus on if you just focus on some certain subjects and you are very good at that then you are then you are eventually going to get 50 or 60 marks and this is what i personally did in my journey so let's see what are the subjects that you must choose now so the first subject to choose is max you must not leave max right you must not leave max because we have all study we are all studying in colleges we have mathematics in our s1 s2 s3 s4 and we know how to do integration we know how to do basic differentiation and all these things we have been studying from our 10th or plus one or plus two so studying engineering mathematics in engineering level is that much it's not that much tough and you can get 13 marks in just like if you dedicate yourself for 25 or 30 hours of concept learning you'll get these 13 marks if you don't like some subjects like probability i didn't also study probability i didn't like it so if you don't like some subject, you can leave it. It's no problem. Two marks, okay, leave it. And disclaimer in this video, this is a roadmap that I give you based on my research and my uh, preferences. But you can change it and you, you can do it your own way. But just listen to me fully, then you will understand why, why I said this. You can give your type to other subjects. But you must study most of 90% of max because it is very easy. So choosing max is very important and you must complete the whole syllabus in max. So that is 13 mark. Next subject is general aptitude. You must never leave general aptitude. And I'll recommend that you must not study general aptitude. You must only practice general aptitude. You must not go and study how to study grammar, how how to like match the columns or how to think. You must not study that. You must directly do the general aptitude previous questions. You must directly do the problems and then you must look at the solutions and how they did it. Because most of the general aptitude questions like spatial aptitude, verbal aptitude, these are all repeated. All the things are repeated. Once you get how to do it and once you know how to manage the time in general aptitude, you automatically get the questions. So you, you don't need to study any lectures for general aptitude. You just need some sheets of questions from any any paper like gate, not only gate from CAT or gate or any paper. You just get some general aptitude questions. You practice it. You'll get general aptitude. That's it. So now let's see which are the core subjects that you must choose. And from my personal journey or what i did is that i knew what a little bit of thermodynamics i let i knew a little bit of fluid mechanics so what i did is that i chose fluid and thermal mainly fluid mechanics i study uh, till uh, bernoulli is something like that i didn't go extend for uh, applied fluid mechanics i didn't study turbines and all i only study the basic fluid mechanics and also in thermodynamics i studied what is the basic thermodynamics the first law the second law and mostly the easy stuff and then i studied the applied thermodynamics these are the two subjects that i picked based on fluid thermal stream then coming to the other subjects i picked strength of materials because i knew what is what was stress what is strain what is stress, force by area like that easy stuffs i know basic level so that i picked that subject also and then i picked vibrations because i know what how things vibrate and all so and also the basic equations were it very easy for vibration we were studying it from 10th standard so vibrations also i picked so like that i select the subjects which i liked then i combat it with the weightage when we looking at the weightage manufacturing has the highest weightage so how can we leave manufacturing but i don't want to study manufacturing because it will take more than three four months uh, mainly three months so i don't want to do that so what i did is that in manufacturing what are the topics which compulsory questions came like in manufacturing it is about 16 18 marks of weightage but for some topics like metrology casting like a rolling process in these topics every time question comes for two marks and the question repetitive pattern is similar like same question same value same equations so i just studied that and i got the mark this is what i did for weightage topics so like that you must analyze how you must how you can study these topics so if you want to know all the weightage analysis i will link the video you can check it out in this video i have explained what are the weightages for each subjects and also in subtopics 
like for manufacturing let me let me eight or nine subtopics and for each subtopic what is the mark which you get and what is the hours that you must spend so check this video out if you haven't checked it is a very useful video now let's get back into this video so like that you must choose your subjects very wisely so after this i'm going to share you a slide which will be showing you what are the main subjects that you must choose so in this slide you can see that based on your average mindset and based on the subjects that you choose wisely you will be getting around 50 to 70 marks of coverage like if you are very bad at your subjects and if you have studied that much you will be getting minimum of 40 marks and if you are very good at your subject you have put your effort in you have studied very well you will be getting about 68 70 marks so you will be getting in a range between an 8000 rank to 1000 rank or minimum 800 rank so this is the range that you will be getting if you follow this path and if you follow the subjects that's it coming to the next key point and this is the previous year questions previous year questions are bible for gate exam like you cannot skip previous year questions you must complete the previous year questions for the subjects that you study if you are studying thermodynamics you must complete the previous year question for that it will roughly 100 questions that's it and 100 question is not a big difference if you do 10 problems or you, you do 5 problems a day you can complete in in just 5 or in 10 or 15 days you can complete the total previous year questions of thermo like that thermo fluid advanced thermodynamics whichever subjects that you are choosing you must complete the previous questions and i'll tell you what is the importance of previous question because most of the questions that gate designs is based on the previous question itself these concepts will be repeated these questions will be repeated and even these values will be repeated but the main thing or the main difference between the people who do the previous questions and who do not do is that by doing the previous questions your concept will be so clear these questions are designed to test your concept these questions are designed to make you do the mistakes they will be giving you values or they will be manipulating the units they will be doing something in the question that will change your answer they will divert your answer and that same answer that, will be, that you will be ending up will be in the options also so if you know how they make your questions or if the if you know what is the examiner's mindset then it will be very easy to correct the questions so that is the main importance of doing the previous questions it is not only by it is not the aim to do number of questions not like that but if you do the previous questions and if you do them again and again i'll always recommend to do the previous questions again rather than to do any other test series because by doing the previous questions and by doing it again you will be again forced to do the same mindset your mindset and your thinking will be involved in how the gate examiner wants it so you want to tackle the examiner right you want to tackle the one who make the question so if you want to do like that you must always study the previous and question. last comes our test and revision i'll tell you this is the most important when it comes to scoring marks this is the last step that you must do is to test you must do test you must buy a test for 500 rupees from any platform i'll recommend a platform physics wala they are giving the test for 500 rupees it will be in the end of december i think so buy that test do the test like doing the test will increase your probability of getting your marks very much high because if you are going to get 30 marks by doing the test you'll be going to get 50 marks because what will happen in the gate exam is that you have studied for 50 marks, you know 50 marks, you know every concept. But due to the inadequate practice, you will be not getting 50 marks. You will be ending up with 30 or 35 marks. For example, you have studied very good concepts for about 60 marks. And you have done all the previous questions and all every homework is done for 60 marks. But you will be ending up with 40 or 35 marks. And this difference is due to the test series. Because in the gate exam, you are going to encounter many problems. Like... Even though you know the answer, you will you will not you will not be taking the correct option. You will be making silly mistakes, addition, multiplication mistakes. You will not be reading the question correctly, and also there will be varieties of questions that you haven't even seen of from the same concepts. So if you wanna tackle all these things, and if you wanna bring the maximum score out of what you have studied, or for an, for example, you have studied for ten marks. If you need ten marks, then you must practice for the ten marks again and again. And this comes from the test series. So test series is very important. And talking about revision, revision is very important in gate exams or any competitive exam. Because when you are watching a video or when you are learning a concept from a YouTube video or from a course, you will be very clear when you are listening to that uh, teacher or a staff who is uh, teaching them. But after uh, one month or two months, you will be forgetting all the things. So you need to revise it weekly or monthly. You must maintain a revision plan. That is very important. But in the last three, four months, I always prepare i'll always prefer to do the test series because because you will be only having two three gaps from the test series and the uh, concept you have learned so in the test series itself you can revise the concept like yeah, without going to the revision directly doing the test series and after that you will uh, mark out the questions which you couldn't do and you revise it revise it from the questions which could which could not be done that is the main uh, the, the, this is 
but i'll always suggest that revision is for the long term period like one year two year or minimum six years who is preparing for gate revision is very important and they'll get a very good score but if you are in the last two three months revision is also important but more than that test and practice is important because you can revise a lot of things from practice and test itself because if you are giving time for revision and then practice and then revision again it will take a lot of time and you don't have time in the last two three months so in this time first give the test even though you don't know the concept and the concepts are not not that much clear you give the test and after that you mark out the concepts that you have forgotten and you study it again like that it will be more effective because you know directly or exactly what questions they are asking and you can directly learn that thing because you don't have time to learn all the concept and all the subjects you must be very precise on what you need to study this is the best thing that you can do in the last four months if you're wondering why i'm explaining the site a slight glitch occurred while recording and all my video storage was gone so uh, i'm sorry for the slide and presentation so so i hope you like the video and i'll see you on the next video